You are welcome once again to Rona360. Rona360, we talk about arts, culture, and TV. So if today is your first time, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and also click on the notification bell to be notified each time we post a new video. You know, STEM and TV has come to stay. It is the format, it is the standard, it is the basic thing that every country that wants to begin and advance in this age of technology, this age of information, you have to do. And for that matter, this year's 2023 STEM innovation was launched. If you want to know more about it, let's go. Now, STEM Innovation 2023 was officially launched. The event was graced by esteemed personalities, including Dr. Eric Nkansa, who is the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, and the Honorable Minister for Education, Dr. Yao Ose Edichum. For those of us who do not know what STEM Innovation is, STEM Innovation is an annual inter-school competition designed specifically for senior high schools, senior high technical schools, and technical and vocational education and training schools, that is TV schools. You see, the whole aim of STEM innovation is to foster a spirit of innovation, creativity, and critical thinking among the students in these schools, while also promoting the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. That is the reason why STEM is part of the name. You know, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Maths. And this year's STEM innovation was launched in Accra, and it was such a big ceremony. In fact, some of the things that the various speakers touched on was so revealing. One which actually got to me was when the Honorable Minister for Education was talking, and he was stressing on the importance on, of STEM education, giving chance to ask students to pursue courses they loved to to do you know in ghana right if you had the privilege to do visual arts in senior high school it looks like that is a dead end for, for you there is no way you can get the opportunity to enter any of the science courses again for the rest of your life but STEM education is proving that wrong and in the language of the minister of education in fact i was so blown away that because of stem education now just as it's being done in the west when you go to the West, it doesn't matter the course you did at the basic. Once you have the desire to enter into a new field, the chance is there for you. And for STEM, visual arts students can now enter and venture into the, the sciences and pursue engineering and other courses of their choice. Let's listen to that very part before we continue with our conversation. You know, we have always heard presidents talk about the 60-40 ratio that in our universities we expect 60% of our students to pursue STEM-related courses or careers, and that 40% will be in the humanities. We've been hearing this for over 40 years, but nobody was willing to do the hard work until another Dan Kukufuadi came onto the scene and said it has to change. Changing that means that not only should we create a STEM pipeline from the KG all the way uh, to the high school, and then beyond to the universities. We also have to give opportunity to the students who did not pursue science in high school to change their minds and begin to pursue STEM-related courses. So short term, before you create a pipeline from KG to senior high school, by increasing the number of students pursuing STEM-related courses, give the opportunity to those who did not do STEM-related courses up to the high school level to be able to pursue STEM-related courses at the university. I always tell of the story of Kojo Mensah who had a dream. In the dream, Kojo was speaking with God, and he was fortunate enough that God was speaking with him. But God told Kojo Mensah, Kojo, you're going to be the best engineer the world has ever known. And Kojo hesitated and then mastered courage. And he said, God, you know, who am I to challenge what you say? But what you are telling me will never happen. And, and God said, why? And he said, you know, I'm a young man growing up in Ghana, and I'm doing visual arts in high school. No university in my country will allow me to become an engineer, so God, I will never be the best engineer in the world. 
But what Kojo didn't know was that God, as the creator of the humankind, knew that Kojo was going to travel to America. And in America, no university would put that barrier in his way. And he would have the opportunity to become an engineer, even though he did visual arts. I believe that a visual artist is the most creative mind we have in Ghana. Every year, schools graduate 80,000 of them, and we tell them you cannot even go on and pursue a course in economics because you did visual arts. When you tell your most creative minds, the ones who can look at you and draw you, and draw bridges and design new cars, that they can never be engineers, who are your engineers? So we have taken innovation and creativity out of engineering. We want those who can memorize the facts and do the calculation to become our engineers. And that is why I really treasure STEM innovation, because we are not just talking about STEM, we are talking about innovating STEM, and who better lead innovation than the visual arts student? And I knew if I made it a directive from the ministry, I would have gotten into trouble with the establishment. So we created a small grant program asking universities that want to uh, make sure that the young men and women who didn't do science can come there and pursue a year of pre-engineering to submit proposals. We got so many of them. Pentecost University had a great design uh, that we thought was very good. And then we had UMAT at Takwa with a great design. And they began a year ago, uh, two years ago. Now, last year, they had their first group of students moving into level 100 of engineering. I've been reliably informed that they are performing better than those who did science. We have to break the boundaries that we put in front of the youth all the time because during our time, it was not done that way. Our time has passed. Allow the youth to lead the charge and change the course of history of this nation. When you look at students like Khadija, why do you stop them from becoming engineers? How do you look at the faces of this young men and women, the most talented in the world, and tell them that if you were born in America, you can be, but in Ghana, you cannot be. So I'm so grateful to the president that he has allowed me as the Minister of Education to lead the charge towards transformation and to ensure that the fortunes of this nation is forever changed. And I believe we can. So last year, 2022, Kumasi Academy, yes, Kumaka, put up a very spirited performance to score a huge amount of 24.6 points to beat Pope John's Senior High School in the Eastern Region and Rara Senior High School to win the maiden edition of the STEM Innovation Contest. My name is Ukuku Prince. And I'm Frank Alba. We represent Kumasi Academy in this year's STEM Innovation Program. This year's STEM Innovation Program have three teams, Solar Energy, Recycling, programming and coding. We introduce to you our ultra modern science laboratory built to improve social economic needs in secondary schools. To continue, we want to brief you about our project, which is the ultra modern science laboratory. Our ultra modern science laboratory has been divided into three main sessions, which is the chemistry lab, and we have the physics lab, and the biology lab. Our science laboratory has two main entrants, which is the first entrant for the physics lab and the chemistry lab, and this entrant for the biology lab. And our ultra modern science lab has windows for proper ventilation. The lab has a photoresistor solar panel. The solar panel converts solar energy into electric energy. With the help of a motor, the photoresistor turns the solar panel to the direction in which the light intensity is high and store maximum energy. This energy is then stored into batteries that are used when there are inadequate light during cloudy days. And here is the main switch to the lighting of this ultra modern science lab that can be turned on and off. And in this case, we have our Arduino board and the breadboard. The Arduino board 
that contains the mind behind this project. So as I already said, the Arduino board is used to control a lot of devices. Here we have a motion sensor that detects any intruder at the night to make an awareness of maybe someone is working inside at the science lab at the night. The motion sensor will detect that person. It make an red LED. It blink to make an awareness of someone who is... Yes. Kumaka won the 2022 STEM Innovation Contest. And as winners, they took away a, a trophy, a laptop, a printer, and a 12,000 CDs cash. Whilst Pope Jones and Rara Senior High Schools placing second and third took away a laptop, a printer, 7,000 series cash and laptop and then printer for rara and then five thousand series cash yes so we are actually waiting for the winners of this year's stem innovation contest yes and which will drive progress in the various fields and i'm so happy for stem innovation thank you so much for watching i would like to know what part of the video touched you or what part of the video you know drew your concerns type in the comments session and let's get interactive and as usual i will always end by saying that don't abuse drugs you are a very unique and special person if you abuse drugs drugs will abuse you we will meet one more time bye bye